Hello everyone, you have Royce here and welcome to our channel Sunshine Video 101. And for uh, this episode, we're going to feature the uh, inflorescence of the species known as Elliptica. And uh, what you see in front of you is the cultivated variety Horwood, formerly known as Horwoody Eye. But the updated ID of the uh, plant is Centiviria elliptica horwood. So what I'm showing you right now is the how the uh, pattern or the uh, look of the uh, matured specimen horwood. The uh, leaves are almost uh, two feet in length. And uh, as you can see there, that's a big uh, flower bud in just uh, about uh, three days. You see the uh, whole plant. And uh, how big the uh, flower bud is. Now I'm focusing on the... Uh, pattern of one of the leaves of the elliptica species known as horwood by the way this uh, specimen is also planted in a uh, 10 inch diameter pot 12 inch deep you see the bachelor part of the plant as well uh, it is uh, having a powdery look to it that is a uh, glaucous uh, coating a, uh, a characteristic of the uh, leaf uh, to produce a powdery form that repels water to protect the uh, leaf itself from ha having uh, uh, fungal infections all right, now you will be able to see the, uh, the the whole plant. One of the longest leaves are about uh, two feet in length, and about uh, the leaf is uh, three inch to four inch wide. Now you'll uh, see. Uh, I'm focusing on the uh, inflorescence of the uh, specimen now. It is uh, 19 inches in height. That's the uh, flower stalk that we're talking about. And you can see on top there, there's uh, some something that sort of looks like a uh, top knot. A very unique uh, characteristic of the uh, this uh, species uh, inflorescence. By the way, the uh, flower size is 1.5 inch. That's the uh, flower itself. The uh, height of the stalk is 19 inches, but the flower itself is just uh, 1.5 inch in size. Uh, this is a clustered type inflorescence. So in a cluster, the most uh, flowers that uh, you can find in one cluster is uh, six then some on the uh, uppermost part is just having one flower attached to the uh, stalk as well as the uh, bottom part the uh, bud color by the way is greenish and the uh, color of the flower itself is white Alright, there you can see this is uh, about the uh, second day of the uh, blooming stages. It takes about 23 to 24 days uh, for, uh, for the buds to uh, bloom or to open up. Alright, there you go. So that's 19 inches uh, height and uh, there is uh, a stock extension there that uh, that doesn't have uh, flowers attached to it before you can get to 
the uh, uh, buds and the flowers. Alright, so that's uh, almost uh, one half of the stock extension before getting into the uh, buds and the flowers. Okay, I think this is the uh, third day of the uh, flower bloom. Focusing on the whole uh, inflorescence of uh, Santivria elliptica or wood. This is a mature plant, so that's uh, at most how uh, tall uh, the inflorescence can get. Alright, focusing again on the flowers. As I've said, the uh, flowers are whitish. Color of the bud buds are greenish. All right, there you go. Okay, so uh, by the way, uh, folks, Santiago uh, elliptica horwood has been crossed with other. Uh, species as well and uh, I'm going to have a comparison of uh, its um, uh, of the uh, hybrids that were crossed with it as requested by one of our uh, one of our colleagues uh, Sir Mix I'm going to have uh, I'm going to make a video of uh, Sanctuary Elliptica Horwood versus the hybrid known as uh, Macrophilia and that Macrophilia is uh, Masoniana crossed with Elliptica Horwood there's also another one uh, Elliptica Horwood was crossed with uh, I think that's a uh, Francesi and uh, it the, the hybrid is called as Popomon uh, uh, Delight, and I will have to include it on uh, that comparison video as well, so we can help out uh, the other folks on how to uh, differentiate the difference between um, Tachiviri Elliptica Horwood versus Macrophilia versus uh, Performance uh, Delight. Okay, so uh, still, well, we're still uh, viewing the uh, Elliptica Horwood uh, cultivated variety, focusing on the leaf again. And by the way, uh, you see the back part, uh, the uh, pattern are very, very clear on juvenile leaves or new leaves compared to the uh, mature leaves. They uh, tend to darken up a bit. Alright, so I think this is it for this video. So if you like what you see and uh, it helped you out, please uh, do uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you everyone.